Bestbookbits.com presents Zen to Done, the ultimate simple productivity system by Leo Babatuto. Zen to Done takes the best aspects of the few popular productivity systems, getting things done, seven habits and others, and compiles them with the mandate of simplicity. It makes things as simple as possible and no more. Zen to Done is a simple system to get you more organized and productive and keep your life saner and less stressed with a set of habits. Zen to Done teaches you the key habits needed to be productive, organized, and simplified, and no more than that. How to implement these key habits, tips in forming a habit, how to organize these habits into a simple system that will keep everything in your life in its place, how to simplify what you need to do, includes an even simpler version called Minimal Zen to Done. The written summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring you the book summary of Zen to Done. 10 Habits Leo Babatuto has outlined 10 key habits that are critical to have a simple, more organized life. When you've implemented some of these habits, you'll find yourself with a sense of control and find that you actually get more done. However, Babatuto stresses that you don't need to do all 10 habits. Some of these will be more applicable than others. So decide which ones work for you. We'll briefly outline the 10 habits here. We'll go into more detail later. Number one, collect habit. Any ideas, tasks, jobs that come to you need to be written down on paper, carry around in a notebook always. Number two, process habit. All about decision making when it comes to processing your inbox, don't delay. Three, plan habit. Write down the top three tasks you need to complete each day. Get them done first thing. And number four, do habit. Complete the tasks from your list one by one. Never try to do more than one at a time. And number five, simple trusted system habit. List that you check regularly are critical. Keep your list simple, straightforward, and easily accessible. Number six, organize habit. Eliminating the risk of clutter by tidying up as you go. Related to your desk, inbox, office, and home. And number seven, review habit. Setting weekly goals and completing regular reviews. Number eight, simplify habit. Only focusing on the essentials. Remove everything else. And number nine, routine habit. Establishing a consistent morning and evening routine that you enjoy. And number 10, find your passion habit. Dedicate your life to the things you have a passion for. Don't waste your time on things you don't care about. The top four, for a lot of us, the prospect of taking on 10 new habits is daunting. In this case, Babatuto suggests taking on his top four. Collect, process, plan, and do. Collect, process, plan, and do. How to form 10 habits. Now that we've identified the 10 habits, the next step in Zen to Done is actually adopting these habits into your life. Babatuto stresses the importance of adopting these one at a time. Attempting to take on too many will only leave you stressed and unable to fully commit to any of them. One of the main problems people have with other productivity systems, probably without knowing it, is that there are a series of habit changes that people attempt to undertake all at once. When you decide to commit to a new system, it's exciting and tempting to tackle all the habits all at once. But remember Babatuto's advice, however, The exception is that if you're already practicing these habits and have some experience in them, or if you're someone who adopts the change as well, then you can consider taking on two or three at a time. But only do so if you are certain that the chances of success are going to be affected. Start simple and gradually add the other habits as you see fit. How to change habits. Babatuto has some advice when it comes to successfully implementing the changes. Make a commitment to yourself or publicly. Ensure that you are held accountable. The only way to ensure a habit will stick is to do it every single day for 30 days. Practice. Find whatever it is that motivates you and use this. Track the progress you make every day. Either cross off the days on a calendar or use a habit tracking app. Find support, whether it's someone else who's taken on the same challenge as you or an online community that is full of encouragement. Find ways to reward yourself. Have a positive outlook. View the new habit and your ability in a positive light. Positive thinking. If you tell yourself you can do this, that you will do it. Then you will. Collect habit. 
Now we'll dive into more detailed explanation of the each of the 10 habits. Even though we live in a digital age, Babatuto recommends using the old school version of a pen and paper when it comes to collect habits. Of course, you can use a smartphone if you prefer, but there's something about the physical act of writing that helps. The key with this capture habit is to write things down right away, before you forget, and to empty out your notebook as soon as you get home or to work. The key is to do both actions immediately. Don't put off writing down your ideas or going over it when you return home. You're more likely to forget if you do. And if you don't go anywhere without your notebook, you'll never know when the idea will materialize. Babatuto explains that just by writing down the information and tasks, you find a direct correlation to your organization and productivity improvement. Now you have a system. You no longer forget your thoughts and you always know where to refer back to. Process habit. The process habit is so important. It's all about processing to empty. This means taking your inbox, processing each email until you reach an empty inbox. Babatuto recommends this at least once a day, more if required. Letting stuff pile up is procrastinating on making decisions. If you process your inboxes, making quick decisions and putting things where they belong, things don't pile up. Babatuto suggests that you keep the number of inboxes you have to a minimum. If you need to separate work and personal, that's fine, but try not to have more than two. The key is to be able to have a handle on all inboxes and never let them overflow. Babatuto explains that the best process is to view emails from the top down without skipping any. When you open each mail, deal with it immediately in one of the following six ways. Delegate, delete, reply immediately or take action, defer it for later, file it only if you need to check back as a reference later, and six, whatever you do, don't leave it in your inbox. Plan habit. Planning is essential if you want to get to the top of all your tasks and have your work days running smoothly. At the beginning of your week, you should identify the biggest tasks for the week, big rocks. These are what need to be dealt with first. Babatuto recommends that each day you write down one to three tasks that are the most important that day. If you do these first thing in the day, you guarantee they get done and your big tasks slowly get ticked off. By getting them done first, it means that no other unimportant tasks can get in the way and will distract you from the tasks. Babatuto suggests setting aside some time at the beginning of each new week to establish what your to-do list is. He refers to Big Rocks, a term coined by Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People that refers to the main things you want to accomplish that week. If you schedule these first, the other little tasks, small rocks and gravel, will filter in around your big rocks and your schedule will be complete. Babatuto reminds us to never have more than four to six big rocks in a week to avoid overwhelm. Do have it. As mentioned earlier, Babatuto stresses the importance of only focusing on one task at a time. As humans, we really don't have the ability to perform a task well if we are multitasking. Quality is always going to be compromised. Here's how Babatuto recommends you plan out your doing. Select which big rock you are going to work on. Identify one step or task within that and work on it until completion, or for a predetermined amount of time. Set up a work zone by eliminating distractions such as a cell, phones, and email notifications. Setting a timer can be a good way to focus for a set amount of time. If interruptions occur, don't deal with them as they come in. Simply write down the distraction on your notepad and you can deal with it when you're done. Don't check your email during your focus time. Occasionally something urgent will come up and this is unavoidable. In this situation, take note of where you're at in your current task. Deal with the urgent situation and return to your task as soon as possible. Don't forget to take little breaks. Relax for a few moments. Get some fresh air, stand up and stretch. Focus on doing your tasks one at a time to the exclusion of all else. Simple trusted system habit. There's an overwhelming amount of different productivity systems, apps and programs. Babatuto believes that we get too caught up in trying them out, seeing what else is out there and learning new tools that our work comes second. In Zen to Done, Babatuto recommends selecting one system and using the simplest tools possible and sticking to it. 
Zen Dadan is about doing, not the tools. Here are Baba Tuto's recommendations. The simplest, most effective tools. Simple GTD. It doesn't have a lot of features, but that's its appeal. Moleskin, or small notebook for notes on the go. Tadar List, a basic list program. To-do List, another basic list manager. Calendar, Google Calendar, Outlook, or a paper calendar. Reference system, alphabetical or numerical always. And for physical filing, consider manila folders. And for digital files, use your basic computer document system. Organize habit. Your life can be completely organized with one simple rule. Put everything in its home. Babatuto explains that you need to establish a clear system. Have a physical inbox where papers, bills, etc. can go and ensure that you can go through this and empty it regularly, just like your email inbox. Everything should have a home. Nothing truly belongs on your bench or next to the door. Consider where your belongings should be and put them whenever you are done with them. Babatuto explains that you having a home for things like your car keys is extremely beneficial. You'll always know where they are. Keep all flat surfaces clear. Just because they are flat, it doesn't mean they are a place to put things. Establish your filing system. And Babatuto stresses that you should never have a MISC or other file. All you are really doing with these is procrastinating. And put labels on things so you know what they are and where they belong. Invest in a label maker if you like. Put things away as soon as you are done with them. Never put anything aside to deal with later. This will eventually be automatic. A few minutes now is a lot easier than hours later when you have countless things to put away. Evaluate. Every now and then, it's good to review your organization of everything. Review habit. Babatuta highly recommends carrying out a review at the end of each week. There are five steps to keep in mind when you carry out your review to keep it simple and straightforward. Number one, consider and review both your one key long-term and one key short-term goals. Doing this for the first time will lay the foundation and every week following, you can simply revisit the goals and review whatever progress you have made. Number two, collect and go all over your notes, even the ones that you already completed. By doing this, you'll be able to identify and any missteps or notes you need to carry out onto the next week. Number three, take a look at your calendar, what you've done in the past week and what's coming up. Ensure nothing gets missed. And number four, take a look at your list. Cross off anything that's been completed. Familiarize yourself with your follow-up list so you know what needs to be done next week. And number five, identify your short-term goal for the following week and make plans towards your long-term goals. Remember, just focus on one goal at a time, making it much more likely that you'll achieve it. Print it out and post it up if necessary. Send yourself email reminders, tell everyone about it, However you do it, maintain that laser focus and it will happen. Simplify habit. Babatuto's simplify habit can be applied to all areas of your life, but most importantly, your list. If you can prioritize and get your list down to just the simple essentials, then you'll be better focused and know what to do next. Babatuto explains that often tasks become unnecessary. Circumstances occur and maybe you simply don't need to do it anymore. Or if someone else can do it, pass it on to them. Eliminate anything that isn't necessary and isn't working towards your goal. In order to do this successfully, it's important to understand what's your main goal. Little tasks will likely be necessary in reaching these goals and these can stay, but eliminate anything that isn't going to help you progress. An important lesson from Babatudo, and one we all struggle with, is our commitments. Too easily we agree to every opportunity, regardless of whether we truly want to do them or not. By simply saying no to more and placing more value on your time, you will find a sense of freedom. Only commit to things that make you happy and have the ability to add value to your life. Babatuto explains that our current lives are full of incoming information and this can lead to overwhelm. Eliminate the amount of websites you view. Commit to only reading the one new site, not six or seven. Cut back on RSS feeds and consider how many emails you receive and how many truly require a response. Biggest value, focus on tasks that will make a name for you. Generate long-term income, give you the satisfaction and happiness, eliminate the rest. 
Another way that Babatuto recommends we simplify our lives is by batching tasks. All the little tasks that come up during the day can be written down and dealt with later. Routines habit. Routines are an essential part of the Zen to done lifestyle. Follow a simple routine will help you take control of your life and set you up for success. Babatuto recommends having a morning routine and actually establishing two slightly separate ones. One for when you wake up at home and the second when you arrive at work. It's also a good idea to establish an end of day routine. Regarding your personal life, Babatuto recommends you ritualize these activities such as yoga, everwise and recreation reading. If you want these things to be part of your morning, then set aside some time. For personal errands such as groceries, banking, post, batch, these tasks and set a routine to do them all together once a week. Things such as laundry and cleaning should be spaced out in your week. Don't have an entire day dedicated to all these household chores or you're less likely to do them. For example, commit to Monday morning and Thursday mornings for laundry. Use Saturday afternoon to vacuum and to dust, etc. As for the work goes, Babatuto recommends you establish a list of everything you plan to do. Write down everything from the weekly review to setting MITs and processing your email. Then establish when each thing will be done. For example, set aside the last hour of work every Friday to complete your review. Babatuto explains that the planning of your routine is the easy part. Now you have to actually do them. He explains that you need to stick to your new routine for a week at a minimum. After the first week, sit down and review how everything went. If there were times where you were overwhelmed and had too much to do, or times where you weren't feeling productive, then make amendments and adjustments. It's going to take 30 days for your new routine to become habitual. Take control of your life. Set some routines and learn to follow them. Find your passion habit. Babatuto's final habit is sometimes the hardest to conquer, but once you do, it's definitely the most rewarding. Give it a thought. If you really want to do something, you'll work like hell to get it done. You'll work extra hard, you'll put in even more hours, and you're less likely to procrastinate. It's for work that you don't really care about that you procrastinate. Ask yourself what it is you truly love. You might already have the hobby or something you did in the past. Is there any way you could make more money from this? Do your research if anyone else out there is doing it already. Babatuto recommends us that just because you're currently doing a job, that doesn't mean it's the only career path for you. Perhaps you're working as an accountant, but spend all your free time reading about fitness and health. Maybe you love helping your friends train at the gym, and being a personal trainer is something you love to try. If this is the case, look into this new option, write down your ideas, see if it's possible, ask for opinions. Babatuto recommends finding a way to try it out before you dive headfirst into a new business venture. Do thorough research and ensure it's something you want to do. Never quit trying. Conclusion, key takeaways. There are 10 habits that Babatuto recommends that you implement into your life, but don't take them all on at once. One at a time is better, and you don't have to do them all. Identifying which ones would improve your life and commit to those. Collect habit. Any ideas, tasks, or jobs that come to you need to be written down on paper. Carry around a notebook always. Process habit. All about decision making when it comes to processing your inbox. Don't delay. Plan habit. Write down the top three tasks you need to complete each day. Get them done first thing. Do habit. Complete the tasks from your list one by one. Never try to do more than one at a time. Simple trusted system habit. Lists that you check regularly are critical. Keep your list simple, straightforward, and easily accessible. Organized habit. Eliminating the risk of clutter by tidying up as you go. Related to your desk, inbox, office, and home. Review habit. Setting weekly goals and completing regular reviews. Simplify habit. Only focusing on the essentials. Remove everything else. Routine habit. Establishing a consistent morning and evening routine that you enjoy. Find your passion habit. Dedicate your life to the things you have a passion for. Don't waste your time on things you don't care about. And that's a wrap on Zen to Done. Subscribe to our channel and take a look at the hundreds of book summaries uploaded previously. To find hundreds of written summaries, check out our website bestbookbits.com. And for hundreds of audio podcast summaries, 
find us on mixcloud.com forward slash bestbookbits. If you want to get involved in our channel and assist in sharing knowledge, connect with myself by dropping me an email at info at bestbookbits.com. Thanks for watching and listening. Have yourself an amazing day. Take care.